Hello, today we are fixing this iPad 6th generation screen. This customer's iPad glass is pretty cracked, so let's replace it. Just a reminder that glass will be fine everywhere, so safety glasses are a must for this repair. Start off by warming the edges of the iPad with your hot air gun, or if you don't have a hot air gun, you can use a hair dryer. You want to use a sharp pry tool to separate the glass from the frame. If you notice, I keep my pry tool in an upward motion when I'm under the screen and making sure not to touch the LCD because that will break the display and those run about $50 to $70. I like to keep my pry tool at the edge of the device all around the iPad. Go ahead and stop two thirds of the way down because there are cables and we'll get to those later. Now that we have the majority of the edges separated from the frame, it will make it easier to come off in one piece. You might have to go over the area a couple times to get a good separation just remember not to touch the LCD with your tools. Use plastic pry tools or guitar picks if you have any laying around and I'll help keep it separated while we work on the rest of the iPad. Alright, let's separate the other side. On this side of the iPad, you don't have any cables to worry about so you can separate it all the way down. Hey, just a reminder, be careful not to cut yourself because there's sharp pointed glass everywhere. Alright. Down here you have Wi-Fi and antenna cables, so practice keeping your pry tool at the edge of the iPad and that will help avoid touching them and damaging them. Hey, if you're liking this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more videos. Now, working on this side of the iPad, there is a home button cable that we have to be very careful not to damage. The best rule of thumb is just to keep your pry tool at the very edge so it doesn't go deep enough to cut anything. Now that we have all the edges separated, we can open it up and start working on the inside of it. Go ahead and lay down the screen on something that's elevated so that doesn't rip the home flex cable as that's still attached underneath the LCD display. We are going to work on the most delicate part of the iPad, the home button. You want to use a fair amount of heat on both sides of the screen to get it nice and warm so it can be removed as easy as possible iPad home buttons are made with the device, so if this cable gets damaged, you do lose your fingerprint scanner. We don't need this screen anymore, so we can just cut the cables and get that out of the way. Let's go ahead and start removing any of the remaining glass that's been left behind. While doing so, you want to protect the camera and the LCD from the heat. I throw a penny on top of the camera to protect it. The small pieces of glass are actually in the way and are holding the LCD down. So, we have to clear them out of the way before the LCD can get lifted out. Just remember to protect the LCD from the heat and try to keep your fingerprints off the LCD. Fingerprints on the LCD are extremely difficult to clean off and usually stain the display. Let's go ahead and take out the four screws that are holding down the display. Once you remove the four screws, you want to get underneath the LCD and get that lifted up. The LCD is not really glued down, but it's wedged in there pretty good. So you want to get a playing card and just help loosen it out of its groove. Just don't go too far on the bottom right corner because of the cables that are attached underneath. Once it's all loosened up, just slowly wiggle it upwards and leave it in its place because the LCD is still attached. The next thing we want to do is remove the screw that's holding the board down to the battery. Go ahead and take a Phillips screwdriver and remove that Phillips screw from the board. Now you have a shield and three screws. Their job is to hold down the screen and the LCD cables to the board. Pop that open and sometimes the cable gets stuck with the shield, put that somewhere safe. These are just the connectors we cut earlier for the screen, we can just get those out of the way. Now you'll see the home button connection. Flip the connector up and slowly wiggle out the cable. Alright, we have taken care of most of the hard work. You want to remove as much leftover tape and dirt from the frame so it's a nice and clean surface for a new glass to lay on top. Sometimes a little glass left behind and end up cracking the new screen and we have to watch out and make sure to have a clean surface area. Here I use goo gone and I let it sit for a few minutes. When I come back the residue glue absorbs the goo gone and I can easily just scrape it off. The cleaner the surface the better the screen will hold the iPad frame. Then I just wipe it down. Nice and clean is the trick. Let's check out the home button. We have to remove any leftover glass that it may have. The home button has a ring and so we will leave it on and work over it. Let's line up our home button on the new screen. But first we have to cut some double side tape to hold down the home button assembly in place. Press down firmly and just remove the other side of the tape. Let's line up our home button to the screen and press it down to make it flush. 
it's important you line up this black dot with the center metal post and that's what helps us with the clicking here I use a little bit of B7000 glue it's absolutely not necessary however we just like it for the extra support I clamp it down for about 10 minutes and it should be good to go now we are ready to put everything else back together connect the screen digitizer cables to the board and make sure they're pushed in there nice and tight let's get the home button back in there flip out the connector slide in the flex cable and close the connector let's plug in the LCD connector and put back the screws on the board for the battery connection we are going to make a quick test to make sure everything is working okay simply just lay everything back down flat and power back up we are just going to quickly test the digitizer and make sure that is responsive and it looks like the LCD as well too so we can just shut it back off and continue with our repair Go ahead and lift the screen and you want to put back the shield with the three screws holding the cables down. Next go ahead and lay down the screen and tuck it in real well. Push down all the corners. Put in the four screws and give it a quick clean down with a little air and I have a little LCD cleaner or you can use a microfiber cloth. Your iPad should come with double side tape all around the edges. If not, cut some out and go around the edges of the glass. However, as a shop I like to seal it a little more by putting in B7000 to give it that extra lo long strength and make it just a tad bit more water resistant. Go ahead and peel off the double side tape and when you get to the side of the inside of the tape, tape peel it outward not in inward like I did. Usually I put more glue but that's fine for now. I like to leave the plastic that's on the new screen on to last so I can handle it without getting all the prints all over it. Go ahead and lay down the iPad screen. Now push down on all corners and make sure it's nice and flush with the frame. I then put it under a book for about an hour to make sure it seals and closes it tight. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments and I hope you found this video helpful. And if so, please give us a thumbs up. I'd appreciate that quite a bit. Catch you guys later.